How YouTube Recommendation Engine Works Hi, everybody. If you're looking to become a full-time data scientist and artificial intelligence AI expert from scratch, then you are at the right place. Today, I'll explain how the YouTube Recommendation Engine works. <laughs> A recommendation engine is a type of data filtering tool using machine learning algorithms to recommend the most relevant items to a particular user or customer. It operates on the principle of finding patterns in consumer behavior data, which can be collected implicitly or explicitly. Recommendation engines are everywhere these days. In fact, some of the biggest brands we engage with every day are built around one, including Netflix, Amazon, Google, and Goodreads. 35% of purchases on Amazon come from product recommendations. Netflix uses a recommendation engine to present viewers with movie and show suggestions. Amazon, on the other hand, uses a recommendation engine to present customers with product recommendations. While each uses one for slightly different purposes, both have the same goal, to drive sales, boost engagement and retention, and deliver more personalized customer experiences. In the past, recommendations would come from a salesperson or friends and family. Today, we have passed this task in the hands, or minds, of algorithms. As a marketing tool, you could say that these machines are well-trained in the art of upselling and cross-selling. But the question we all are interested is how has the YouTube recommendation engine worked for decades? People around the world watch over 1 billion hours of YouTube videos every day, everything from cat videos to videos for cats. The YouTube algorithm is the recommendation system that decides which videos YouTube suggests to those 2 billion plus human users. This begs an important question for marketers, influencers, and creators alike. How do you get the YouTube algorithm to recommend your videos and help you earn more likes? According to founder Jod Karim, YouTube was created in 2005 in order to crowdsource videos of Janet Jackson and Justin Timberlake's notorious Super Bowl performance. So it should come as no surprise that for many years, the YouTube algorithm recommended the videos that attracted the most views or clicks. In 2012, YouTube adjusted its recommendation system to support time spent watching each video, as well as time spent on the platform overall. When people find videos valuable and interesting, or so the theory goes, they watch them for longer, perhaps even to the end. This led some creators to try to make their videos shorter in order to make it more likely viewers would watch to completion, whereas others made their videos longer in order to increase watch time overall. YouTube didn't endorse either of these tactics and maintained the party line, make videos your audience wants to watch, and the algorithm will reward you. That said, as anyone who has ever spent any time on the internet knows, time spent is not necessarily equivalent to quality time spent. YouTube changed tack again. In 2015, YouTube began measuring viewer satisfaction directly with user surveys as well as prioritizing direct response metrics like shares, likes and dislikes and of course, the especially brutal not interested button. In 2016, YouTube released a white paper describing some inner workings of its AI, deep neural networks for YouTube recommendation. In short, the algorithm had gotten way more personal. The goal was to find the video each particular viewer wants to watch, not just the video that lots of other people have perhaps watched in the past. As a result, in 2018, YouTube's chief product officer mentioned on a panel that 70% of watch time on YouTube is spent watching videos the algorithm recommends. But now in 2021, YouTube algorithm selects videos for viewers with two goals in mind, finding the right video for each viewer and enticing them to keep watching. When we talk about the algorithm, we're talking about three related, but slightly different selection or discovery systems. One that selects videos for the YouTube homepage. One that ranks results for any given search. One that selects suggested videos for viewers to watch next. YouTube says that in 2021, homepage and suggested videos are usually the top sources of traffic for most channels. Except for explainer or instructional videos, i.e., how to tune up a bicycle, which often see the most traffic from search, instead. How YouTube determines the algorithm. The ranking signals YouTube use to decide which videos to show to people. Each traffic source is slightly different. But ultimately, what affects your video's view count is a mix of. How does YouTube determine its homepage algorithm? Every time a person opens their YouTube app or types in YouTube.com, the YouTube algorithm offers up a diverse array of videos that it thinks that person might like to watch. 
This selection is often broad because the algorithm hasn't yet figured out what the viewer wants. Acoustic covers of pop songs, inspirational anti-procrastination speeches, to catch up with their favorite possum vlogger. How YouTube determines its suggested video algorithm. When recommending videos for people to watch next, YouTube employs slightly different considerations. After a person has watched a few videos during a visit, the algorithm has more of an idea about what a person is interested in today, so it offers up some options on the right side of the screen. In addition to performance and personalization, the algorithm is most likely to recommend videos that are frequently watched together. Topically related videos. Videos the user has watched in the past. If you're interested in learning more about starting a machine learning and AI career, then be sure to check out our courses at the first link in the description. How we can build a recommendation engine with PyTorch, video course coming this Wednesday. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss more videos helping you to start your data science and AI career and more. Check out this playlist of our data science and machine learning lessons and see you in the next video. Take care.